What's up, you friggin' geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you about collinear and coplanar points, all right? So let's define those two terms first, all right? So first of all, if you think about this part of the word right here, co, you can think about words like co-host or co-op or cooperate, right? What do all those mean? Well, they basically just mean you're on the same team, kind of, right? So collinear points are just points that are on the same line, okay? So collinear points are points on the same line, all right? So what do you think coplanar points are? Well, they're gonna be points that are on the same plane, right? So points on the same plane. All right, so now that we got a little vocab out of the way, let's jump into this first question right here. So it asks, how many planes are shown in the figure, all right? So as you can see, this figure basically looks like a box, right, or a cube. So the planes you can think of as the surfaces on the box or the faces of the box or the sides of the box, okay? So how many sides does a box have? Well, it has six sides, right? And we can even count them up really quick, right? So this front side or this front plane would be this one right here, okay? There's also the bottom part, right? The bottom side of the box, that one down there. Okay, we also have this side the right here on the left, right? So we have this left side of the box right there. And we also have this other, the right side of the box, right? So those are four sides total so far, okay? Don't forget about the back of the box, right? Right back there. And then the only part we're missing is the top of the box. So the top of the box would be this one right here, okay? So as you can see, we have six surfaces or six planes to this figure, right? To this box. All right, so now let's jump to number two. So it says name three collinear points. Okay, so remember, these are points that are on the same line, okay? So three points that are on the same line, well, the only part that happens is right over here, right? M, X, and S. This line right here is the only line on this whole figure where there's three points, right? Every other single line only has two points, right? You could literally pick any single random one. So like here we have P and N, right? So there's only two points on this line, right? What about this line over here? Well, again, there's only two points, right? N and R, okay? What about this line? Well, again, there's only two points, right? T and Q, all right? So this is the only place where there's three points, right? So M, X, and S. Name three collinear points, M, X, and S. All right, now let's go to number three. So this one asks, are points N, R, S, and W coplanar? Okay, so it's asking if all these points right here, N, R, S, and W, are on the same plane, all right? Well, let's see where these are, N, R, and S. Uh, N is right there, R and S, okay? So these three points right here are on the bottom part of the box, right? They're right here. They're on the bottom part on the box, right? So where's W? Well, W's up here, okay? So is W on the same side of the box as N, R, and S? No, it's not, right? Because N, R, and S, they're on the bottom side of the box, and W's on the top corner of the box. All right, so they're not on the same plane. All right, so are points N, R, S, and W coplanar? Hell no. All right, now number four. Does line WM lie in plane A? All right, so first of all, WM, line WM is this one right here, right? That's line WM. And plane A is this plane right here, okay? It's basically on the same side. Think of this as the table, okay? The box is sitting on top of the table, okay? So this table right here is right underneath the bottom of the box right here. And the question is asking if WM is on the table. Well, no, WM is basically the height of the box, right? So it's not lying on the table, okay? so. This line right here, WM, does not lie on plane A. Okay, so number four would also be a hell no. All right, here's our last problem. And this is the figure we're working with this time, okay, which basically looks like a Toblerone. If you don't know what that is, go ahead and Google it. But I guess technically this would be called a triangular prism. 
All right, so the first question asks, how many planes are shown in the figure? Okay, so again, just count up the sides of the prism, aka the Toblerone. All right, so the first side that we're gonna count is this bottom side right here, ABC. Okay, that's the bottom part, right? That's the part that's touching the table over here, W, right, plane W. So that's our first one. The second one would be this one right here. Okay, this is one of the sides of our triangular prism, so that's number two. Okay, number three would be this other side right here on the right. So that's number three. And then we also have the back, right? So this back part over here, that's number four. Okay, and lastly, we have the top, the top of our triangular prism. So number five, okay? So how many planes do we have here? We have five planes. All right, number two. How many of the planes contain points F and E? Okay, so how many of the planes contain both of these points right here, F and E? Well, F and E are right here, right? So these two produce this line right here, okay? So how many of the planes contain this line FE? Well, there's basically two, right? So there's this one right here, this side of the triangle, okay, that contains FE, and also the top, right? The top part right here also contains the line FE, okay? So there's two planes, this blue one and this purple one, that contain F and E, all right? So number two would be a two. All right, number three, name four points that are coplanar. Okay, so this is asking for four points that are on the same plane, okay? Four points on the same plane. Okay, so you basically have three options. So you can go F, A, B, E, right there. You can also go E, B, C, D, right there. Okay, that's four on that plane. Or you could go with the back, F, A, C, D, okay? that plane also has four points. Okay, so you could go, again, F, A, B, E. You could go E, B, C, D. Or you could go with the back one, F, A, C, D. All right, you can use any of these for your answer. All right, and lastly, number four, are points A, B, and C coplanar? Okay, so are A, B, and C on the same plane? All right, well, a, B, and C are right there, right? And as you can see, they're all on the same side of the triangle, right? So are A, B, and C coplanar? Hell yes! So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful, so definitely check those out. And I'll see you there.